What's up, guys? We are back with a follow-up video. Um, we have figured out how to use uh, disable texture streaming and um, all available cores on Blade and Soul. Uh, now that BNS Buddy and BNS Arc are no longer uh, viable options, uh, what you need is Project Izanami. There will be a link to Project Izanami in the video description. Uh, first thing you want to do is set everything the way that I have it here. Uh, you can pause the video and look at my settings. I'm going to go to each of these settings tabs for a moment. Now right here under game, game exe file, you just browse to, if you're using the 64-bit file, you use the 64-bit client.exe and just put that in there. Now here's the important part. Go to tools, run game directly by bypassing the launcher, and this is the one you want. Enable game client interception. And when you do that, this little window here is going to come up. This little grayed out uh, lin will pop up. Uh, now we're going to go through our normal NCSoft launcher. The normal one. Log in, hit play now, and it's going to run a file repair because of my edited uh, XML file, which is right here. This is my edited one, and this is the one that the game uses. All right. So now that that's done, look over here, and you'll see that the grayed out lin is no longer grayed out. That's the important part. We can close this. We don't need this anymore. We don't need that. Now, once again, just like in my previous video, we're going to take our edited XML file. We're going to replace the one that uh, just got repaired. So that's been replaced. Now we're going to click the little lin. And now your game will start. This will enable you to use all your mods without the annoying pop-up. This will enable all uh, CPU cores and disable texture streaming. Uh, very simple, very easy to set up. Hope this video helped you. If you like it, give it a like, subscribe, comment, whatever. You know the drill. Uh, peace out.